For each of the last three generations, Pokemon has come out with one Fates set. So in the Fates set, it comes out with all shiny Pokemon. So we have Hidden Fates from 2019. We have Shining Fates from 2021. And then we have Paldean Fates, which has come out in 2024. Each of them are different. However, they all share the same sort of thing, and that is shiny Pokemon. And in today's video, we are going to be opening up an ETB of each of them to work out which one is the best set because we all know by opening up one ETB, it's enough sample size to make that decision. But before we get into those three, I'm opening up three booster packs of Fates Collide because we're all about the Fates. That's right. The Fates will decide this video. So there's the code card for everyone who's interested. And I've now gone blank in terms of what the card trick is. I think it's free because it's X and Y. So <laughs> here we go. Shauna, Savine, Wormadon, Solacis, Fennekin, Carbink, Dealing, Vincino, Reverse Hollow, Helix Fossil Omnite into a Moltres non hollow rare. Okay, nothing from the first one. And I was right. X and Y era is free from the front. Nice and easy because I know. We've got three different generations in this and they keep changing, but hopefully we get something from the Fates Collide. So there we go, the QR code for everyone. Three from the back, the rest is four, and then we get obviously the Scarlet and Violet era, Paday and Fates, which is nothing. So here we go, Fairy Garden, Raxon, Scorched Earth, Snubble, Burmy, Cottony, Violu, Goffita, Ordino Spirit Link into a shiny Lucario, or say shiny hollow. And I'll make that distinction clear because these are hollows, but you actually get shiny Pokemon, which hopefully we get quite a lot of them in today's video. And into the last pack of Fates Collide. Now these weren't too expensive, I believe. Um, although there's a lot of expensive XY packs out there. Oh no, oh no, all the others had the code card the other way. Normally anything sword and shield backwards, that's not a good code card, but because we want to do this video properly, we're going to go fully as if it wasn't. And I now can't remember if I've done the card trick, but we'll go through Scorched Earth. I'm not sure we have. Here we go. Lavitar, Burmy, Seal, Fennekin, First Hollow Savine, into an Amastar. Okay, so absolute bust in terms of the Fates Collide. The question is, will the ETBs give us more? So I'm going to start with the Paldean Fates ETB, then do Shining Fates, and then do Hidden Fates, because I believe that's got the big Charizard, which is like $400, give or take, or whatever it is. So Charizard is what we're looking for. Um, I believe the Baby baby Shiny, uh, I'll go into what that is in a minute. The Pikachu is the most expensive, and I think Charmander after that is kind of what we're looking for. I've opened both before, uh, so if you need this channel and want to see more of those kind of things, then obviously, Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and we'll do even more of these. So this is what we want as a baby shiny. Can we get it? Artisan, Lantern, First Hollow Pikachu, First Hollow Crablot into a Magmalta. Come on, a hit. We want the first hit, or I'll take any hit, obviously, but if it's a Charizard, even better. So obviously there's no Patrick. I mean, some people put an energy to the front. I don't think that's necessarily or worth the time. Boom, okay, there we go. Baby shiny Entei. So obviously when, when I say baby shiny, it's got this certain shiny, it's got the stars here. Um, so these are what we call baby shinies. And I think every single set has some of these. Do we double up Mimikyu into a Cyclosar? We do not. First pull of the video, it will go up here. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so first hit, there we go. More of them, please, more babies. Now in this set, there's the actual main set itself is a lot smaller then the baby shinies so it's like a hundred ba 104 baby shinies is it i should probably double check that but it's a lot okay it's a lot crampy into an armor rouge okay nothing in that pack either so there's a lot of baby shinies in this to collect it, it's a ridiculous amount i have done the video trying to get some of these and obviously opening up various padding plates products already and i am so far behind <laughs> ridiculous amount behind however we keep going Oh, wow. I think that's a secret art Clive. There we go. Secret art there. Clive, look at the amount of Pokemon that's in that. Like, let me know in the comments down below how many Pokemon you think are in this. And we'll, we'll see who comes closest. But there are a couple of interesting ones. And obviously, the side up here at the bottom, I know everyone likes. But yeah, there's a lot in this one. So, wow. Okay. I'm so glad we got that. And nothing else. 
Now, I actually think this is one of the few recent Scarlet and Violet sets you can double up in, just because you can get a baby shiny and like an EX card uh, secret art rare, I guess, in theory. But after, was it Paldea Evolved, I believe? Um, no, as soon as you flames, you basically stop doubling up. So this is one of the few sets because of the baby shinies, you can double up. So, oh, <laughs> okay, this is it. So this is a full art shiny. So hopefully get more of these and obviously Hidden Fates is where we want more of these. Obviously it's GX, not EXs. However, do we double up? We do not, okay. This, this was a good box to open for this video. Completely random, but wow, okay. We've got one of each, basically. We have a baby shiny, we have a secret art rare, and we have a full art shiny, and it's Mew, which is probably one of the better ones to get in this set, actually, because while well, it's playable and it's Mew, it's a lot of people's favorite Pokemon, so we'll definitely go with that. And another baby shiny, there we go. That's what we want to see. Zatu into the QR code. Let's just keep them coming. Okay, I do not have enough sleeves ready for this. Uh, I've only got two more. I was not expecting a good hit rate, to be fair, even though it's Pardaean Fates and I should have known it was better than this. But three more packs to go. We've got this. Can we get anything big? A gold card or the evolution of this one? That's right. Charizard. Secret Art Rare. Do we get it? Okay, we, we get nothing from that one. But we will do nothing. You know, we, we've hit so much. <laughs> And we've already got a secret art rare, so we shouldn't get the Charizard, but come on, we've got to be greedy. We've got to go for it. Here we go, Scraggy, Mime Jr., Mastiff, Scrafty, uh, Ultra Ball, Sweet Rats, Reverse Hollow Ultra Ball, there's an Executor, and there we go, we get a normal EX QR code for everyone. I'm not going to put that in the sleeve straight away, that will be done later, as it's not worth anywhere near the amount of value that the others are. Probably like 50p. But here we go. Last pack of the Paldean Fate ETB. And we'll see just how good that ETB is. And as we open up the others, we can then compare. Here we go. Color Watch All. First one, Ghastly. First one, my Junior. Oh, another EX. Okay. And there we go. QR code for everyone. Wow. Okay. I mean, look at that. The big ones is obviously these two here. The Mew Full Art Shiny. I mean, that is gorgeous. And look at that, the Clive Secret Art Rare. Whoa, okay, absolutely amazing. Shinx is brilliant. Entire thing is one of the more expensive ones as well. And then two normal EXs, which is nice to get. So we've got six pulls out of that ETB. Let's remember that. Now, again, going into the others, the pull rates start to drop, okay? So just bear that in mind. I think it's almost unfair to compare Shining Fates with the pull rates. That is the promo for everyone. That's the QR code for everyone. And then the most important thing is the packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs. So I think you get more packs in this than the Scarlet and Violet era. However, the pull rate is slightly worse than the Scarlet and Violet era. And well, it's, it's even worse when you get into Hidden Fates, but we'll get into that. So this, however, does have the pack trick. So I need to make sure one, two, three, four. I declare a fun watch. It's been a while since I've been able to say that. Here we go. So energy on the front. Good. Team Yell Tau. I mean, that's a... Some math one and a half. Uh, more Peko, <laughs> Nickit, Crookie, Yamma, or Peko, Elder Cross into a Mana Fee. So again, we are looking at the Charizard. And the unfortunate thing about this set, actually, oh, oh, let's not reveal everything. Let's QR code for everyone. I don't want to reveal the back because, like I said, you can tell if you're going to get hit or not depending on the color of it. So yeah, the unfortunate thing with this set in particular compared to the other two is. Yes, Charizard is the expensive card. And like Hidden Fates, like I said, is a ridiculous amount. The Charizard VMAX in this one is around $70, give or take. Might be more at the moment. But then everything else drops down to under $10. So as a set overall, it's not that valuable. It's just literally the Charizard or bust. And we get a hollow decidui. So yeah, the unfortunate thing is this with money-wise, it's probably not worth buying all the packs just for the sake of opening. It's probably better to buy individually if you can, there's a QR code for everyone, and then trying to get that Charizard because, yeah, it's not worth the amount of packs you're probably open to try and get the Charizard, um, which is unfortunate. I actually like the set, I like the uh, Baby Shiny Suicune, which would be cool if we get that, um, and then like the Vaiku in the next one. But yeah, Suicune is one is my favorite. But, okay, boom, Center Scorch V. So, like the EX versions, you get the full art Vs, and they are the shiny versions, similar to the Mew. Right, here we go. Rotom. Buster Ch 
I swear the other pack started exactly like this. Uh, Tutu, more Peko. It definitely feels like the same pack. A Cacnea, Horsey, Kufants, first of Drenor into a Rillaboom. This is fine. Here we go. Spinarak, Ritzel, Rowlet, first Holy Cross Floor, and a vo Hollow Foil in DD. Okay. Got one hit. I did say the pull rate gets a lot worse. And I wasn't lying, okay? Um, hopefully, QR code. That QR code means, I mean, I'm making it up, but that means we're getting something out of this. Gold card, anyone? Gold card. Let's go with a gold card, shall we? Uh, Luxio, Ying, Ying Tao, Team Yell Tao. I'll get that right eventually. Uh, Coffin, Mopeko, Horsey, Spinarak, Boom. Okay, Baby Shiny. Corv Knight, which again is probably less than three dollars. Oh wow! Okay, we do double up. Okay, shiny fates. I was taking the mick out of a poor weights, and then we get a full up Carolis, which I actually don't know how expensive this is. Maybe it'd be on screen. I'm not. I'm not sure. Um. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Two more hits. Okay. May maybe I should um mock shiny fates more and it tries to prove me wrong. So yeah, it's not like it's going to get a child on theme max or anything. I mean, jeez. A terrible set for that. I mean, if I pull a Charizard now, I mean, oof. come on, Charizard VMAX. I would love to get a Charizard, Charizard from this video. Obviously, I want it from the next set, uh, Hidden Fates, but I will happily take the one from this set. So here we go Yanma, Trapinch, Shinx, Rowlet, Reverse Hollow, Professor's Research into another Rillaboom. I mean, the Reverse Hollow. Best research isn't too bad. I mean, it's a, it's a playable card in pretty much every format in terms of like, it keeps getting reprinted. So having it as that version of it isn't too bad. I know people like to bling out the professor's research because like I said, it gets played so much in so many decks and it just survives obviously the rotation. So having some cool arts for that is pretty sweet. I feel like this set, yeah, kind of like Paldean Fates. This one is also only 72 normal. So you'll find that we will look at so many of the same Pokemon before we get to the cool cards at the back. Here we go. Trapinch. First of all, Fracky into a Galarian Weezing. Which, to be fair, I actually like this card. Uh, it's DC play with its ability. Quite cool, as you can see there. But it's not what we're looking for today. No. We are looking for that Charizard. I believe it's the only card that's worthwhile in this set. One, two, three, four. And I think I might have accidentally seen something in this. Don't know what it is. So I couldn't even tell you that, but I think we've got a hit. So let's go through this. Gym Trainer, Wacky, Coughing, Yanma, Snom, Kufont, Crookie, Boom. Okay, we get another full art shiny. Do we double up? We do not. We just get a hollow Luxray. Okay, not too bad. Two full arts is actually pretty good, if you ask me. If I can actually get it in. That's what she said. So we've got three full arts cards actually and a baby shiny. So we might not have as many. There we go, there's a QR code for everyone. We might not have as many as the other one, but the other one just had two normal EXs, which don't really count. So this is kind of keeping up, like I would say, with the full arts. So, you know, can we get anything in this last pack of shiny fates? Can it keep up with the other two? That is the question. Rowlet, a pinch. That's a comment. Oh, wow. Okay. And we get a Delmise VMAX. So, nothing too special there, but it is another hit. It is a VMAX card. And there's a lot on this card. I'm not going to lie. You look at it, there's so much art going on, but it is another hit. So, Shining Fates, we do get a Carolist, the Double V, Sender Scorch V, and then the Delmise VMAX. So, started off slow this one, but the hits also came as well. I would say Paddy and Fates is slightly in the lead, but this is the big one right here. And it is this one, Hidden Fates. I am so looking forward to this. I have not opened up Hidden Fates ever before. Here we go. The main ones here, the packs. And then the promo in this is actually really cool, as you can see. Stained Glass Window Birds. Don't know what the value on this is anymore. Oh, it's got crimping at the top, as you can see. It's a bit crimped. Oh, does that, does that make it more valuable? Let me know in the comments down below if that's a thing. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 packs we're going to put all the charizard ones to the back because we're, yes we are going to be like that and there's only two okay cool yeah the big one is of course the full art shiny charizard gx but there's an umbreon um, umbreon gx shiny as well i need to make sure i do the same thing with the qr codes 
uh, there's Symphia, Sylvan GX, Espion GX. So basically, the evolutions do quite well in this set along with the Charizard. Let's just sort that out. So um, and I do like some of the artwork styles in the older sets, but here we go. Caterpie, reverse Holo Fairy into Erica's Hospitality. Nothing in that one, but we started off slow in the Shining, shining Fates. Can we get something in this? Coughing. Ekans. Cubone. Magikarp. Oh, reverse holo Cubone into Bills and Nanasis. Not quite the rare we were looking for. Okay, two packs down, it's fine. We've got plenty of packs to go. Let's, oh no. Let's do this properly, just showing everyone what the QR code is. Yeah, we'll go with that, I'm, I'm losing it. Fairy Energy, okay, we've actually got Fairy Energy. We love to see it. Giovanni's Exile, which actually looks quite a cool card just in itself. Koga's Trap, Coffin, and again, you'll notice here, it's another small set, and that's kind of traditional of these. That sort of the set is bigger in terms of the actual shiny Pokemon, etc., which makes it harder to to collect and a bit more expensive, just because it's harder to get them. Here we go, Geodo into. Oh, okay, a shiny, shiny energy into a Hollow Vaporeon. Okay, I, is that? I'm going to put it to the side. I'm not sure that's really a hit. Someone, someone would say it is. I don't know if that's worth any money. Farfetch'd, Rocks, Grit, Misty's Cerulean City Gym. Oh, another mouthful. Good fairy. Slowpoke. Pikachu. Charmander. Oh, that's a nice little Charmander. Sorry, I've not actually seen some of these artworks in, uh, even though I should do. Voltorb. Oh. <gasps> wow. Okay. This one right here, look, sorry, I've got some of the prices. It's around $55. This is the fifth best pool you can get. Oh, okay, here we go. And then we get the tag team. Is this the full art version or the normal? Okay, this is the normal birds. And then we get the S. Okay, Hidden Fates. That, that is how we do it. That, whew. And look, the centering on that looks really good. Oh, wow, that, that is, that could get a 10. That is, I don't know, I wasn't, I was, first of all, I wasn't expecting to hit one of the top five for starters. And I definitely wasn't expecting to hit a double up like that. So <laughs> QR code. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to say now. Like we've, we've hit, I mean, it's definitely not money back from all of these, but that's a good way of doing it, I guess. Uh, Koga's Trap, I don't, I don't know what to say. Um, Caterpie, <laughs> Paris, Ekins, Psyduck. First of all, our buck into a Snorlax. I don't mind having a dud pack. We've still got five to go. So we're halfway through. I still can't believe we've got that SP on the X. Um, I'm still just like, yeah, it really is that one. Okay. Nice. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad we actually get some hits from this. I was so worried we were going to like open this up, do this video, and just pull nothing at all. But wow, we. Okay. Graveler. <laughs> Caterpie. Paris, again, another one that looks like it's had too much. <laughs> Ekans, Psyduck, Staryu, that's how the Pokemon Center Lady. Oh, Mr. Mime. Forget Mr. Mime was fairy in this one. Okay. Four packs to go. We've got two Charizard packs. I don't know because we've already hit that Espeon if we're going to get anything else good. But the fact is, it doesn't matter now. And any more pulls is all we want. Again, Char Umbion GX. I mean, <sighs> Kind of what we want, isn't it, really? Here we go. Geodude, Cubone, Eevee, a fairy, Versal Voltorb, and a Kangas Khan. Okay, the last non Charizard pack. I mean, how cool would it be if the last Charizard pack had it in? What's well, a cool looking Pikachu? We'll get to it in a second. Uh, QR code. Let's do the pack trick. Four to the front. Okay, Lightning Energy of Pikachu, not too bad. Your one is XL. Tense search strategy. Pikachu, again. There we go. Nice little artwork for Pikachu there. Magikarp, Coffin, the Fairy, Staryu. Oh, okay, a baby shiny. I was gonna, oh, is it, wait. Well, it's got the little A there, which means like an amazing rare, right? Um, but this is a baby shiny from Hidden Fates into a Clefable. Not, not quite the hit from the other pack, but a hit's a hit, it's a baby shiny. Wow, again, another pack that's got a dodgy 
QR code. And the last time we had this, we got an SB on GX. Could this card here, oh no, it won't be this card, will it? It'll be this card right here. Could it be the Charizard? That, that is the question. Here we go. Let's focus. Tensor strategy. Chansey. Misty Cerulean City Gym. Staryu. Clefairy. Come on, Charizard. Slowpoke. Pikachu. Charmander. Okay, another baby shiny Lucario. Into a Kangas Khan. Okay. And I did, to be fair, I do like the Lucario shiny because it's just so different uh, to its normal there. So again, a baby shiny. Not too bad. Right. Last pack of the entire video. Last pack of Hidden Fates. Can we get something really good? I'll put the island there because it it's a foil. It's it 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 counts up to a point. Here we go. Last QR code of the video. Last Patrick. One, two, three, four. I declare a fun war. Yeah, I'm choosing one of you. Here we go. Fire energy. And if you have enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. I want to get to at least 500 by the end of the year, if not a thousand subscribers and we can really get things going. So here we go. Geodude, Clefairy, Eevee, Ekans, Bass. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. I didn't realize you could get baby shiny ultra beasts. That, that is new. That's something I didn't expect for this. And the last, do we get, oh, we get a box, box training hollow. Okay. Someone's probably going to say, no, no, keep that one, Matt. Keep that one. There we go. Okay, so Hidden Fates, we get the Buzzwell, the Island, the Lucario, Magneton, the Birds, and then the big one here, which is the Espeon GX, which looks incredible, if you ask me. Absolutely incredible. So there we have it, ladies and gents. Which of those was the best to you? Which did we pull the best? Which one would you like to see me open even more in the future? I had an absolute blast making this. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support, and I will catch you in the next one.